And it's the BYU Cougars, the defending national champions in blue against the fourth-ranked team at the end of last season, the Boston College Eagles. BYU won the toss but elected to kick off. Jay Shumway will kick it off. Boston College will receive. BYU will have an option at halftime, and here we go. Steve Williams handling the kickoff on the 12. He is brought down on the 26-yard line. Coming the tight end to the right side. More motion this time with Stratford. Halloran to throw on first down and comes underneath to his tight end, Gieselman. Gieselman gets out to the 35-yard line. Gawetsky up over the ball. A quick opening to Stratford, and that's all he needs is a little daylight. He's on third and 12. Halloran, play action. In the pocket, well, and it is incomplete. Intended for Darren Flutie. Mass, and he boots it away, and it's going to be by Sukahima. And Sukahima fields the ball about the 27-yard line. B.C. downfield in the coverage keeps missing him, and he returns the ball to the 39-yard line. First down, first possession of the night for the Cougars at their own 39-yard line. No score in the ball game. Robbie Bosco, a Heisman candidate, quarterback straight drop. And he completes it out to Hamouli coming out of the backfield. Hamouli is up to the midfield stripe and down into B.C. territory. Has confidence in it. First down, Brigham Young, 49-yard line of B.C. Has a great hit there on number 21. Kel in the backfield. Second and 10 for the Cougars. Slot right, Kozlowski in the slot. Bellini is wide. Lots of time. Too much time. Incomplete, though. Or is it? Did he hold on? He may have held on. I believe he did. That was Glenn Kozlowski. Fourth down. Hey, Morley, it looked like he might have been stuck for that B.C. line. The left side again, Ted Gackney, 57, the linebacker. Bill Romanowski, the linebacker, up there to make the hit. And Boston College stops BYU. The tight end now on a second and 10 for Boston College's Halloran. Looks and comes back up the middle of the run. And yes, he can run. He's a lot bigger than Flutie. Not as shifty as Flutie. Right, one running back, third down two. Halloran comes to the near side. He's got Stratford coming out of the backfield. And wide outs all over the place. Gieselman coming back in motion to the left side. And Halloran looking over the middle and throwing over the middle and almost into the hands. Scott Norberg has come in now as a wide out. This is what Bosco did a year ago. Capturing the imagination of football fans all over the country. Straight drop and he's got some time. Now it closes and the ball is batted and then almost caught. Pelagata had wide outs splitting the backs and here we go. Third and 14. Bosco coming long. It is intercepted. It is intercepted on the 43-yard line by Carl Pelagata, number 49. Running backs as they come out in an eye. Halloran goes to the tailback, a little stutter step, and Stratford is on the way for a big game down inside the first down on the Brigham Young 26-yard line as Halloran throws close range at the 20-yard momentum going, 7.49 to go in the first quarter and no score. Misdirection or a counter with look at Stratford pick his way, but he fumbled the football. BYU is after it, another fumble, it looks like Brigham Young has recovered. The first indication is that Jack McNell's Eagles have popped up the football. We talked about hard-nosed football here. Number 65, Ken Smith. The middle guard went down. Stratford had lots of running room, had a chance to get in the end zone, but a good hit by BYU. Who don't get enough credit for their toughness defensively. He fumbles the ball. BYU recovers. BYU. Bosco at the end zone. Completes it. And he hits Smith out of the back. 58.8. Third down short. Bosco on the run, completes it to Bellini, the tight end for a first down across the 25, and he bounced. Bosco, straight drop, time, and he has Kozlowski at midfield. Glenn is brought down on the 48-yard line. Getting time to throw the ball and having a chance to read. Kozlowski is running the middle pattern. You can see the safety man come across, leaving the middle spot open. It must have been a man-to-man -man coverage there. He's wide open. The ball is thrown perfectly on target. Beautifully caught. Big, big game. First and ten. Kozlowski has played with three quarterbacks of great note. Jim McMahon, Steve Young, and Robbie Bosco. First down, BYU. Bosco over the middle. That's Trevor Malini, the tight end, and Crush Payne, the strong safety. Was also injured, so now they're down to their third man at uh, free safety. Robbie Bosco on second, looks and throws, and he completes it. 
He hits uh, Kelly Smith coming out of the backfield, and Kelly's got a first down. And Degnan, or some tandem in the middle of that line, Bosco on the drop, and Bosco to the near side. He completes it to Smith coming out of the backfield. Not too much gain. Was that still a live ball or not? Right out of bounds, right out over the end line. Mooley and Sikahema are the backs in Sikahema in the pattern, but he is pulled down by, guess who, Mike Ruth. He's a Juco All-American, and the kick is blocked. It is blocked by Boston College, and finally the ball is down by B.C. Flutie said he's gone. We do something else now. Halloran at quarterback, and a great defensive effort behind the line of scrimmage by Gavea, number 34, the weak side linebacker from Waianae, Hawaii, for the loss, and the ball will be through third down 10, coming up for the Eagles of Boston College. Halloran from his end zone, lets it fly downfield, and it is incomplete for Giaquinto. The coverage by Jeff Sprouls as Peach booms it and does a great job of kicking it out of there. Sikahema will field the ball for Brigham Young at his own 43. And is chased out of bounds on the 48-yard line by Joe G. A job the defenses have done tonight. Robbie Bosco, first down. Under pressure, runs out of the pocket, looking. Mike Truth misses. No, he doesn't miss it. He knocked him down. And it did. Second down, 17 to go. And a reverse as Kelly Smith tries to get to the outside, and he cannot. After one, and we'll be back with more action from the Meadowlands in New Jersey, the third annual kickoff class. Nobody open, and he has not practiced reading against that many men. Bosco in third and 20. He's got Kozlowski open for a first down and more. And BYU is out of bounds in the 20. Down goal to go at the eight-yard line. Bosco staying in the air. Haymuli out of the backfield, and he is having trouble getting past the line of scrimmage as... Might get in contact, just stand him off the line and knock him back off the line. They're used to protecting the passer. Bosco, third and goal, touchdown to Bellini. Bellini is fifth career touchdown. He had four TDs a year ago. The junior from San Leandro getting the six-yard touchdown reception. California who caught 35 passes a year ago. This extra point try it is not good. See on your screen, they've had some success. Now Halloran will go upstairs, and he's got some time, but all of a sudden it collapses. As the secondary did a great job of coverage, Halloran with a second down, 15, trailing six to nothing. And this time the handoff goes to Stratford, and a blue shirt is around. Halloran sends four receivers out, and then goes underneath to Bell, the fullback, and he's going to be way short of a first down. Longest winning streak in the nation, 24 straight, trying to make it 25 straight over a tough Boston College Eagle squad tonight. Man open, Kozlowski makes the catch at the 40-yard line. Kozlowski may not be the fastest guy in the world, but look what he has done at BYU over three seasons. Now going for number four as Bosco goes for it all to Kozlowski. He's got it at about the two-yard line. He came back, the pass a little underthrown, but in that situation, it probably worked out okay. First and goal to go, BYU. Cougars lead six to nothing. Sikahema gets the call. Touchdown, BYU, it appears. If the ball is on the plane of the goal line, it would be a touchdown, but he might be uh, an inch short. Here, and they get pretty good penetration of the offensive line. Nicomia gets into what appears to be almost on the goal line. Here's the play about the officials. <laughs> Second down goal. Hemuli fights his way in a touchdown. Laka Hemuli from Laie, Hawaii. Let BYU in rushing a year ago. Racks up the touchdown. Two and he's behind six to nothing. He might just try to get even any extra points. <laughs> just called it. Bosco looking for the end zone for the two, and he's got the two. Kelly Smith out of the backfield for the two-point conversion, and Brigham Young goes up 14 to nothing. You see the man in motion. That makes the defense change their coverage. Kelly Smith just breaks out on the pattern as Bosco is running with the ball, and he's wide open on the outside. Once again, Perryman just did not have speed. First down, 10. Halloran play action. Gavea coming after him. He completes it to Gieselman, however, at the 48-yard line for a 12-yard pickup. Second and eight. In the pocket, stays in the pocket, and it is Troy Stratford. Stress wideouts for BC, second and ten. Bootleg right, and it is caught by 
Gieselman for a first down, then he fumbles a football, but I believe the play was over. Back is being taken to the locker room. You saw him limp off a moment ago. Here's the run and a touchdown as Mahalik takes it in. John Mahalik, the fullback, the senior from Elyria, Ohio. We have finesse offense. They're taking it. You're very vulnerable when you've got your arms outstretched too, to getting ready to catch the ball. By the way, Steve Williams is back, and Ted Gaffney is back on the bench and can play. Rush on Bosco, and Ruth gets in. Mike Ruth of Cincinnati for Boston College. And Halloran, this time, is going to be nailed. He was looking, and he had team for Sean Halloran. Again, this time he runs out of the trap, but he is being pursued, and he flips the ball up to Gieselman, and Gieselman gets nailed immediately by Rob Lindbergh. Here we go, Robbie Bosco and BYU, and BYU will stay in the air, and Bosco has to run out of the pocket. Throws on the run, completes it to Bellini. Bellini at the 45, Bellini at the 42 of Boston College, and of every football fan playing injured in the Holiday Bowl, led BYU to a win over Michigan. Bellini open again, Bellini at the 32, short of a first down. After three for BYU, a minute 24 to go in the first half. Brigham Young leading 14 to seven. That is Kozlowski for the first down, breaking a tackle. He gets plenty more and goes back over the middle of Bellini. Bellini fumbles a football and it is recovered by Boston College. He bobbled it, he couldn't get it back in and BC recovers. It was Chuck Garecki, number 95. Stratford did it. Bellini here starts downfield. Bosco again, beautiful play, reading all the receivers. Finds him open. Puts the ball right on the numbers. He's trying to run for the touchdown. Didn't get the ball put away. The fumble is recovered by Boston College, and that's the tackle. So you want to make a first down on this play. That's what you're thinking about. And they come back to the weak side, and Stratford has the first down and more as he sidesteps and goes out of bounds at the 24. You saw Kozlowski a moment ago, but his brother Mike of the Dolphins is watching tonight. Halloran going and throws the ball up for grabs, and it is intercepted. You can see that one coming. It and is. that's why, right? Yep. <laughs> Four seconds to go. They stack the right side with wideouts. And Bosco pumps it and lets it fly. And he's got Kozlowski down there. And Kozlowski going for a diving catch. Time left on the clock. Defense misplays it. We can score. Wide out to the right. Bellini to the left for BYU. Third down and 10. Bosco going across the way for Bellini is tied in for a first down. He gets about 16 yards on the play has been floating in and out of that backfield as Bosco goes back on second and six, completes it to Kozlowski, but he is out of bounds. Has the ball out first. First foot was out. Third down seven, Bosco completes it to Malini, the tight end on the 45. Giaquinto and Martin. And he goes to the run. Very shifty Ken Bell trying to make something, and he does. Makes about five. And Set on the side of the coin. I'll say right after this play. On second and three, play action. Halloran throwing for the first down to Gieselman. Is tied in. He is up over the ball. Jack McNell out of this ball game. The regular center. A fumble in the backfield. And the ball is kicked around and finally rolls out of bounds. Last possession to Boston College. I'm handing them a hollow egg. They've got to cradle it. <laughs> Halloran to throw. Halloran throwing to the far side. A diving catch by Martin. It was ever given credit for. He said everybody thought about our offense. This is Stratford. And look at Stratford create whatever he can and what he can create. Thrown to First down, Boston College. Play action by Halloran. Throwing to the near side. And oh, what a great catch by Calvin Martin. The pass could have been picked. 11 on that one. Three balls, 26 yards now. And this time... Jason Buck comes firing through to pull Troy Stratford. It is 14 to 7, BYU, third down and 10, BC. Little flip pass to Troy Stratford, breaks the tackle. And then it is Rob Bladenko that's just faced with a fourth down, fourth down and seven of their own 29, or on the uh, BYU 29 yard line. This will be the 12th play for BC. They took the ball at their own 20. They are now at the 29 of Brigham Young. So here we go, fourth down play. Halloran, play action. Here comes the rush. He throws on the run. He hits Gieselman for the first down. He is all the way down to the seventh of the night. Here come the Eagles. They go to Troy Stratford, back to the weak side, and he is down to about the 10-yard line. 
seven minutes on this drive now. And Halloran, they again come back the other way, and this time it is clear sailing for Stratford to touchdown, a five-yard run. 80-yard drive, 17 plays over seven minutes. We are tied at the Meadowlands, and we'll be right back. And what does that mean for Mike Ruth? Bosco backpedaling, looking, and throwing, and he's got Bellini open. Bellini a first down to midfield on about a 15-yard pickup. For quarterback. How about that? 300 yards. We're still in the third quarter. Sika Hema and Hamuli are now the running backs. First and 10 at midfield. Bosco comes right up the middle. This time he's going to run for a few yards. Oh, does he get pelted? He coughed up the football, and Boston College recovers. A big hit by Bill Thompson, 46. Neil Lighton was there for the recovery, and finally, I believe the ball is going to be downed, although right now it is marked at the 48-yard line. I believe the original marking will hold at the 46 of Boston College. Bosco is not a runner. You don't want him to run. Thompson very quick, 225 pounds. Got him from the blind side. And truly, Robbie cannot be expected to hold on to this thing. Second and 10, 45-yard line of Boston College. Play action. Halloran. Halloran shoots it over the middle. And it is intercepted. It is picked up by Mark Sherman of BYU at the 37-yard line of Brigham Young. At center. Sikahima in motion to the left. Bosco, second and ten to throw, and he's going to air it out for Kozlowski, and Kozlowski double-team makes the catch anyway. Kozlowski heading to the far side, pulled down and about the 12 by Carl Pelagata. Bosco dropping back. Again, too much time. Kozlowski is down the field. He's double-covered. He plays the ball. The defenders do not play the ball. You see them both not looking back, not seeing the ball. Kozlowski does, goes back and gets it. Appeared that he might be able to break it into the end zone. Finally, though, he is hit, stopped. And, uh... Oh, is Bellini wide open? Somebody did not cover Mark Bellini. All he had to do was not drop the football. And Jim Quito are the wideouts. There's the misdirection again. And Troy Stratford spinning and churning. And going to the senior quarterback from Westminster, Massachusetts. Inside handoff coming back on the counter. And look at the way BC's defense react for, for the Eagles. Halloran almost stumbled, throws a screen back to Stratford. What could he get out of it? Stratford up the sideline, going for the first down. I, I believe it's going to be a little short. Flagrant face mask, five yards. Flagrant face mask, 15 yards. That one was five. Bosco to throw. Bosco has got Kozlowski again. Kozlowski down to the 35-yard line. And another for guys on. Bosco also has a kickoff classic record. We'll tell you about in a moment. Right now, he's throwing on the run. This time, he's got the tight end, Malini. Malini, a first down and more to the 20-yard line. Make a decision, and they didn't make the decision. Kozlowski is back, breaking over the middle. Robbie Bosco throws to Malini, and it's intercepted. It is picked off by Eiton, and Eiton could be on the way. He is finally going to be pulled down to the 45-yard line of Brigham Young. Comes to Malini, who's going to tip this thing. The worst thing a receiver can do, that's the old tip drill. Every defensive back practices at night, knows what to do after he gets it. Are you 41? Halloran, Stratford. And Stratford is out of bounds, knocked out of bounds. Stratford, 19 carries, 103 yards. Will he get the call again? He does. Stratford is swarmed under, and BYU takes over. They shot the linebacker. <laughs> Lad of Kale, number 51, and he nailed it. So Laval Edwards saying that his defense was underrated a year ago. That defense gets some attention now, and that is Mark Bellini, who has had attention all night long, 11 yards. Not any consistency except for the one drive. Second down six after four by Hamuli. Bosco coming to the near side, and a great catch by Norberg. Scott Norberg from Tempe, Arizona, pulls it down for in Nebraska. And a number of these players have gone away for their mission assignments. First and ten, and Bosco this time thrown down by Mike Ruth. Pass blocks very well. Sick of him in motion on second and 25. Bosco throws to sick of him, and it is intercepted. It is picked off, and it is being returned by Lindstrom, the linebacker, and Boston College can breathe. Statistician. Stratford dancing, moving, getting a 
about two or three and gavetching Robbie Bosco, the potential Heisman Trophy winner this year. Bosco finished third to Flutie a year ago in the balloting. Keith Byers of Ohio State was the number two man in that balloting. Scott Norberg is in now as BYU goes to the offense and Bosco goes to the sideline and immediately hits Norberg. To stop them in his tracks, they haven't really been many holding calls in this game. I don't think we've had any. Yeah. Both coaches said, hey, everybody hold. Third down two. Bosco, first down, Kozlowski. Just enough. Play cornerback against BYU. Kozlowski split wide to the left, Bellini in the slot, and Bosco, look at this way to Bellini. He's got about nine. Let's see where they spot the ball. Nine of Boston College, BYU and Robbie Bosco. Here comes the rush. Bosco has some time, and he throws to Haymuli, and... Hey, Mully has dropped near the 45-yard line. We got Perryman off the field, and they're handling Mike Ruth now. Bosco in a drop, and this pass completed to Hey, Mully out of the backfield at about the 39, and then Norberg to the left. Second down, five. Bosco to the near side, going to Smith out of the backfield. And Kelty four games, going for number 25 straight tonight on the 27-yard line of Boston College, and Bosco swings it out to Smith out of the backfield. He turns on the speed as he tries to turn the corner, and Boston College about Mike Ruth, which is well worth your reading about the qualities of life and his priorities. That's Kozlowski wide open. dropping back on the touchdown pass you can see that he feels the blitz coming but he's got great protection this time Kozlowski saw the safety men blitzing moved it into the middle was behind everybody split them two pass interference penalties but you just got to build their confidence Halloran rolling and flipping the ball to Gieselman again a la Flutie and will return after the two interceptions so he has not had a great night Bosco has had a great night. He goes to the handoff to Haymuli, and Haymuli is out there for about eight in a hurry. Bellini in motion on second down and two. Bosco to the run. This is Kelly Smith coming back to the side. He's got the first down at the 49. Moralizing. First and ten on the 49. They go to the run. This is Sikahema. Sikahema down to the 40. Sikahema down to the 38. Boy, is he quick. Receiver rather than hitting the ball. Last point of possession. And that followed, and this is Bellini again. Rolled out of bounds. Quarterback and the receivers are making it happen. 308 left to play again. They go to the run. Kelly Smith coming back to the near side at the five and bounces down about the four yard line. By you will be a strong favorite to repeat for the national championship. Third down goal. Bosco rolling right, looking to the end zone, and the ball is batted in the air and it is intercepted by Boston College and fumbled if it was a reception on the interception and apparently it was but then after the fumble Boston College recovers Chuck Lindstrom firing about it after tonight Sean Halloran out of the end zone throwing back over the middle to Gieselman he friends over the last three or four years and share a lot of the same offensive ideas here is Halloran throwing Halloran completing and but he's getting better Brigham Young with one deep back now and Halloran is going to go deep down the far side to Flutie. It is intercepted. It is picked up by Rodney Thomas, a right quarterback from Chapey, California. To go. Second down eight. Sick of him. Up. Boy, that little shifty runner is really something. He's out to the Ryan Radoni now the center for BYU in the ball game. And here is Fowler throwing the run. The ball is batted up in the air and incomplete as Chuck Garucki. Punt formation comes Kevin Towell and Towell bangs it downfield. It's going to be taken by Martin and Martin at his own 35 looks for running room and there's only a yard there. He may have coughed up the football. He did. BYU recovers at the 36 yard line of Boston College. 23 seconds to go. Splash on the feeling of Old Spice. There they are. Bosco to the left. Kozlowski to the right. Kozlowski 241 yards. 10 receptions. One touchdown. Bosco 53 passes. 35 completions. 508 yards. Three touchdowns, four interceptions. He had 11 interceptions all of last year. First and ten. Fowler goes to the run. Joey Pelotu carries the ball. And Tom gets down to the 31-yard line where Eric Lindstrom makes the tackle. Tom Joey Pelotu in the game, his first varsity game. Now the clock running down with nine seconds. I think we've seen the last play of this ball game. And Brigham Young, the defending national champion, certainly shows why 
that it has a right to be the national champion and also to be a top contender for the award again this year with a 28 to 14 win over Boston College coming into this year ranked number four in the nation of a year ago. And we'll return to Giant Stadium in the Meadowlands in East Rutherford, New Jersey, right after these messages.